segment where we interview talented artists and we had just had the introduce herself like you just had she has a soulful sweet voice right and i can't wait to hear a little bit more about her music okay first thing the first thing i noticed um when i was so we were doing the interview today is that you started doing music at 15. yes Oh, actually <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I started with writing um like before 15 I was doing poetry from like way back mm. so then I started to fuse my poetry with the fact that I could sing like before that I didn't think it was a big deal mm -hmm. that I could sing well first of all how did you even realize like because everyone wants to sing as a kid you want to be a pop star but like, at what point did people start telling you no this is but exactly like do. for the longest time I was just singing and it was completely normal everyone mm -hmm. is singing to name kila mtu in, in mm -hmm. class everything you're learning is a song mm -hmm. so oh, like yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it was something serious mm -hmm. until like from one from two when people are actually like yo this is really amazing ah, and even yeah. then for a while i was like yeah whatever mm -hmm. you're just gassing me mm -hmm. <laughs> but um yeah by the end of high school i had written like a whole album and wow. yeah i was ready to get into it okay i want to know what the motivation was with your high school like what teenage was hormones ah. that's just the truth <laughs> what when you're a teenager you feel everything it looks everything. like a of content that <laughs> Yeah. So let yeah. me ask you, interestingly, has some of the music we like back then something that, do you still have records of that? I mean, if, if, as you matured your music tastes, your writing skills changed? I have the records. My, mm -hmm. I've grown, I've changed. I was in a band at some point. Mm -hmm. um, but the records, I still have them. I've just not released anything because mm -hmm. I have grown and I've changed. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm planning one day to have like some kind of throwback album. You ah, know? wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that would that be really cool. Yeah. So you mentioned you, you were in a band, so then you all through high school you realized you like to sing, you start writing, you express yourself creatively. Mm -hmm. So at what point did you say, you know what, let me not do this alone, I should join a, a couple of other people from a band. And how, what is that experience like coming with other people and joining? Um, I met my bandmates in high school, mm. but we formed the band like immediately after, like that year when no one is doing anything. Uh -huh. And now the two of them, the band was just three people. So the mm. two of them were already like doing something together, just homies, vibing. Mm. And then one day we're like talking and they're like, yo, like, I feel like we need a singer. And I was like, hello. <laughs> yeah. So that's literally how it was born. Mm -hmm. We started jamming. We recorded a couple, never really released them. But yeah, that was really fun. It did a lot for my growth. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now you've joined a band. Do you decide now after your, that year of deciding of the, the break of I'm joining campus, I'm yeah. doing this and that and that. What was that like you making the decision to start doing music professionally? Like what made you get into you pursuing professionally? That actually happened now in like form four-ish when I had done all this writing and I'm like, this is a lot of effort mm. for just something I'm just vibing with. Mm -hmm. um, then I came across this band actually from like the States. And in my mind, I thought, these people don't know who I am. This is just mm. a bunch of boys on another side of the world. And going by the comments I gotten from like my friends and classmates, if I can do that, mm -hmm. if someone in Germany can be like, yo, this music is amazing, oh, someone wow. in wherever, mm -hmm. then that's what I want to do. And mm -hmm. that's how I was like, Yes, we are doing this. Wow, that's so lovely. I think it's <laughs> like, like your last started in international from way back when. Oh, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah so yeah, now yeah. the band, I, I'm trying to see if are you guys still together or no. did you, at what point did you stem um, from being part of something into you pursuing a solo career? Um, the band kind of just passively dissolved around 2018. Mm. One goes this way, one goes the other way. Um, one of us is actually still doing music somewhere else. Mm. Um, but out of the three of us, it's just me and his name is Tim, Ari Nightway. Um, yeah, but we just, you know, you do your thing, I do my thing, they mm -hmm. happen to be in different directions. It's cool, we're still friends. Mm -hmm. It's not like, like it a team we were like, oh, any. you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just thought, I'm not going to stop doing this thing I love just because I'm not with these guys anymore. Right. I'll do it myself. Mm -hmm. It then was scary. Uh, it oh yeah. That's actually what I want to ask. I know a lot of times we don't like to navigate towards the negativity, but what was that like as the reality for Aja? Sainiko Solo, this is fully on me. Oh, it was terrifying. Uh, <laughs> I was so scared. The only thing that was bigger than my fear was my love for it. Uh, ooh, and I like that's that. why I'm still here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have bowed out a long time ago mm. then fast forward to 2019 we get to you release your first single yeah had is this something you'd written from way back in high school am i no then it, needs, mm. it was something i had just written like maybe a month before that mm. i was at some show i had opened for tetushani Ooh. and mm. i met my producer who is my producer to date 
Modest mm. Chabari. And oh, yeah. that's so cool. We've actually had him on the show before. Huh? Yeah, so he's mm -hmm. my producer to date. Mm -hmm. uh, I met him then. I was like, yo, I'm a singer. And I'm sure, and mm -hmm. when I think about it now, mm -hmm. I'm sure so many people have walked up to producers like, oh, I'm a <laughs> singer. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So I still, I, I think it's a huge deal that he took me seriously and we actually got to working and he was a huge part at the beginning of my solo career. Mm. Yeah. Actually, so I even wanted to ask about that. So when you're stemming into now approaching people who understand them, so the producers, the managers and stuff like mm -hmm. that, what, some, what are some of the things you were in here? You probably learned a bit too late that you'd want to tell someone who mm -hmm. wants to now start doing the usual, go to a music event and be you like, know, hey, yeah. I rap, you wanna spot me and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would say the most important part is do it first. Mm -hmm. Before you tell anyone anything, have something to show. Because you could go around like, oh, I'm a singer, I'm a singer. Okay, what have you done? You know, I'm a rapper. I have something to Nothing, do. you know. Mm -hmm. So have something to show, have evidence. Because mm -hmm. everyone is a singer if you think about it. Like I said, when I, back in the day, everyone was a singer. That's mm -hmm. why I didn't even take it seriously myself. Mm -hmm. So have something to show for sure. That's All step one. Oh, so you approach them with like with mutual something. evidence that yeah. you actually can Even do if it's a recording saying. on your phone, mm -hmm. have it. Because I know you, by the time you have a studio session, that's a whole other thing. But something, something you've written, something you've recorded, mm -hmm. evidence. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and for then after the single, then we have the EP. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. How long did that take to come about? And in the meantime, did you find a lab you have something you'd like to ask and can throw it in as well? Yeah. Um, the EP was in 2020, so that's quarantine season. Ah. Um, but for me, the EP was, let me just say, <laughs> I had gotten my heart shattered. Hey. You know, Nairobi <laughs> did what Nairobi <laughs> does. And I was like, we might ease his canal. So like as a natural <laughs> writer, <laughs> but voila. Hey. So <laughs> I just found myself, I've written this song, I'm writing another one. It's like, they just mm. came, like I was venting, I was, I was crying. Ah through my music. Mm -hmm. So I went to Modest <laughs> and I was like, yo, I have an EP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's like, let's do it. So I did it. Actually, the cover for it is a painting that mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was my first major step, like a whole EP. I did a video for the lead single. Um, that was massive for me. Quite something. Plus, yeah. it, it, guys, that's and, you, and I hope you're very, very proud of yourself because turning heart into heart is quite beautiful, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yeah, ah. yeah. So now, and then at that point, this is when you decided um, your music will basically be through. Is that when I'm up from back then? Is it something that this equal equal Vunjaro or this character development? Mm -hmm. Is it what stemmed into what you wanted your audience to know of you? Am at what point did you realize this is what I want my audience to know? The as Oh, that was when I was writing back in high school because mm. I'm always drawn to like heavily emotional pieces of work. Mm. I feel like there's so much authenticity, so much rawness. That thing of being international, mm -hmm. every single human being in this world mm. has a love story. Right. Whether it's heartbreak, whether you've fallen in love, whether you're in the middle of a relationship, mm -hmm. whatever, everybody knows love. Right. So I was like, Apple. Mm -hmm. And I'm very comfortable writing extremely emotional things. Mm. So why not? Mm. Yeah. Ah, I love that. Okay, so um, um, before we get to hear a bit, a snippet of what um, your, some of your songs, for anyone that hasn't had D yet, mm -hmm. what that sounds like, um, I believe you have a performance you have next week. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, on Tuesday, Jamhuri Day the 12th, we will be having the Vibe 254 at ASK Showgrounds along Gong Road. Tickets are just a thousand only, mm -hmm. only. So come through, like it's gonna be an amazing show. Mm -hmm. It'll be me, uh, a couple of others, Costa Ojuang, Njoki Karu, Billy Black. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a great afternoon. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, and but like we will cry, cry and we will laugh. <laughs> you no, know, I'm laugh. not depressing. <laughs> no, but, but it's like, <laughs> it's a big, like so it has to come out. Let's yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. All right, you had it. If you wanna catch D live next week, um, the Vibe 254, Pale eh, Jamuri SK, SK Showgrounds. Yeah. Okay, so, so, and also now for those that, um, in case someone is not able to catch the show live, mm -hmm. what else? Where else can they get you? Oh, my music is on every streaming platform: Spotify, Apple, Deezer, YouTube, uh, under the name D with four E's, like. D. <laughs> like when you think about my name, just think mm. like you're smiling. Ah. D, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. 
So yeah. Oh, it's such a delight to have on the show. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Inga before. Eh, ju. No, it's good cool is a ju. Nienda kutafuta nafuta mbili spot. Third check again. Oh. You have to smile harder. Like yes, yes, yes. I'm kidogo extra. I have to yeah. remind people that. As it should be. As it should be. All right. Um, um like she said D with four E's on socials. Na pia music yake on all literally live streaming. What are they called? They're called music streaming or live streaming platforms? Music streaming, music streaming platforms. Streaming platform, yeah. platforms. Yeah. Okay. So, so we're going to get just a glimpse of what D will sound like when she performs live. Um, as the DJ gets ready, what's the one thing you'd tell someone who wants to start doing music now? I, I just, apart from the other one, in addition, in, in addition, addition to, to just do it, yes. mm -hmm. which I know sounds, but like, you know, evidence. Mm -hmm. um, but part two, believe in yourself mm -hmm. and it needs to be deep because this road is long ah. and hard and there's going to be all sorts of reasons to not do it there will always be a reason to not do it you have to have a very solid reason to do it mm -hmm. so believe in yourself oh, wow. regardless yeah. you just stick to it do it <laughs> you stick inside, inside yeah mind. ah we love it all right final to go ready okay The energy you give me is just right. It's just right. I like your vibe. I like the way that you say what you say, man. You on fire. I like the way that you play this game, man. You alright. I like the energy you give me. It's just right. Right. And what if I? fell in love with you what if i what if i jumped without a shoot i wouldn't know what to do oh, 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 oh. what would i do oh, what if i fell in love with you what if i jumped without a shoot what would I do? Yeah, 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 yeah. And ever since you came into my life, sun is brighter and I can sleep at night. Being around you, it makes me feel alive. I don't know what I'm supposed to do when you give me butterflies i get lost in the ocean of your eyes everything about you is so divine i never met someone like you make me nervous that's why i act a fool i just love every single thing you do i don't know what to do yeah if i fell in love with what if I, what if I jumped without a shoot? What would I do? What would I do? What would I do? What would I do if I fell in love? 